Hello my dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel that is learning and programming with Chetan. Friends, why I am creating this video so that I can raise your interest in programming. So guys, we all are doing something for ourselves, correct? Now let us do something for the name of God. So in this particular video, we will see that how we can create this particular pattern that is a swastik pattern which is a symbol of god so before starting our video let me first wish you all om namah shivai and also before writing our program let us one chant gayatri mantra okay so om bhur bhuva swaha tat savitur varenyam bhargo deva swadhimahi so guys with this let us start our video and let us see that how we can create this particular pattern by using java programming language it is mainly created to increase your interest in programming and to improve your logical abilities so without wasting much of our time let us start creating the swastik pattern so here on your screen you can see that we have one class with the name swastik pattern app and this is my main method cool okay so for the simplicity purpose here i have created this pattern and here you can see that i have provided numbering to it correct so this is the number of columns and this is the number of rows now in this program we will denote the rows with i okay and you will denote columns with g cool great so now let us create one variable with the name num and it is of integer type cool now what is its value what it is actually storing so it is storing the number of rows and the number of columns in which we are drawing our swastik cool so here if you see we have seven rows right and in a row there will be max 7 stars cool that's why i have given its value as 7 this is dynamic and in the end of program we will provide different inputs for this num and we will see the output cool okay now here in this pattern you can see that there is an important role of mid number right that is the middle number of this swastik because in if we see the mid of this then in the middle row we have stars right and in the middle column we have stars then we have some stars after the mid we have some stars before the mid right we also have some stars from this middle row right before the middle row and after the middle row that's why let us take one variable with the name mid and its value will be its value will be num divided by 2 plus 1. Why? Here in this case, 7 divided by 2 that is 3 plus 1 that is 4. Because on the fourth row we have stars, on the fourth column we have stars. Cool! Isn't it? How we can do it? We will use the concept of looping here. Great. So this is our outer loop, right? And this we will use for rows. Great. So I am declaring a variable with the name i and its value is starting from 1. Here you can see that its value is starting from 1, right? And i should be less than or equal to 7. Till this point, I want to execute my outer loop. Why? Because here I am having 7 rows, correct? And in place of using 7, we should give as num, right? Because we want to make our program dynamic. Great. This is my increment. So every time I will increment my index i by 1. Cool. Now we have one internal loop. What is the use of this loop? This internal loop is for the columns, right? And inside this loop, we will print our stars as and where it is required. Great. So this is for my column. So I am starting or initiating my column 
integer value with name as j and its value is 1 great and it should also execute till the same point that is j less than equals to number and then we have j plus plus great now our main logic is actually starting because we want to print the stars right so here i am adding the if clause so there will be something we need to do inside our if block and we need to write certain logic inside our else block great so what i want what i want if my row that is my i value is equals to equals to the middle value that is 4 then please print these stars for me so let me do one thing if my i value is equals to equals to mid then what i want let me print the star okay i'm also giving a space in between so that it looks good great okay and if my column value is equals to equals to mid then please print stars for me okay then then j should be equals to equals to our mid value great what we should do in the else part if my condition is not matching then please add the spaces here you can see that we have these spaces right the empty places within our pattern right so in the else part we need to do nothing but just give the empty spaces great so this is my internal loop good but i'm not breaking the line sir can you do something to break the line after every row i want to change the line so that my pattern will be printed properly great how can we do that let me simply change the line by using the simple print line statement so that every time my index value is increasing for the rows i want it to be moved to the next line great and guys i don't want to complete it in one go so let us see till this point that what we have developed and is it working fine then we will proceed with the next part okay because it is always good to divide your problem into smaller sections so that you can find the solution in an effective manner so here you can see that till this point we are getting our output great now let us try to print this line okay these stars how can we do that so here if you see that if my row value equals to equals to 1 and if my columns that is j is greater than mid then i want these stars okay how can i do it so if my index value is equals to equals to 1 and my j value should be greater than equals to mid value it should be greater than because of the equals value we have already printed the stars right great and how can we print this line that is also very simple right so if my i value is equals to equals to number right why i'm using number because i want to make this program dynamic okay and my j value that is my column value is less than my center value that is mid value cool great let us run our program and then we'll see is it working fine or not okay great we are getting some output huh it is correct right now we are left with few more conditions great because we need to print this line and also this line it is also very simple i hope that it is clear to you right still let us complete our program so how can we do it so if my column value equals to equals to one and my index value is less than mid value so hope you are able to understand the importance of middle value right that's why we have calculated the mid value okay 
and now we want to print these stars right how can we print this star we have already printed this one we have printed the center line we have printed this one we also printed this one and in the previous condition we have printed this stars right now we need to print this statement these now we need to print this star so how can we do it so if my column value is equals to equals to num and my row value is greater than middle value that is my i should be greater than mid value so my dear friends i think that this is enough to obtain this particular output still let's see let's try to run the program and then we'll see the output cool are you ready oh yes we got our output so with this let us say om namah shivaya great so we get our output let me change the number value and let us increase the size of our swastik great and we'll see if our output is coming properly or not oh yes we are again getting our output great so we are able to achieve our output right what we were expected to do so let me open the console and here you can see that we are getting our output great so my dear friends i hope that you are able to understand this particular video and it should surely help you to increase your interest in learning and programming right also if you guys have some pattern and you want me to write program for that then please share those pattern in comment section and we will create a separate video to draw those patterns so you can write or ask me anything in comment section related to this particular video or any video which we have discussed till now on our youtube channel that is learning and programming with chit and friends if you have not subscribed the channel till now then please subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any updates of my upcoming tutorials with this let's end our tutorial and we will soon meet in our next video till then bye bye and take care